I was implanted. I came back for activation and then I came back on a monthly basis for four months, uh, at which point um, the hearing aid that I received with my cochlear implant that's paired with my cochlear implant was programmed and uh, I was able to, to start using it. The reason why you don't get the hearing aid for a few months is that it takes your brain from three to six months to really process, really understand the, the strange signals that it's, that it's now receiving. And the Ear Institute philosophy is we want you to fly alone on, on your cochlear implant for some time to speed the process by which uh, you understand uh, your brain understands what the cochlear implant is providing it. And so um, that's a really challenging period. That was a very challenging period for me at work and, and in everyday aspects of living um, to have to depend on the cochlear implant alone. Um, and the improvement that I made was, was pretty significant over that three month period of time. So I think, um, I think it justified the, the agony that I was put through uh, because um, I went from a word comprehension score of 28 on, after the first month of the uh, cochlear implant to 56 after the second month. And uh, that's a pretty significant improvement. Technology has made it much easier for people with hearing aids and cochlear implants to, to deal with the telephone. Um, in the past, um, a cell phone could be a pretty challenging tool to try to work with, with hearing aids or a cochlear implant. Now, uh, in my case, I have both a, a T-coil on the, um, the hearing aid and the cochlear implant <clears throat> which helps you with a telephone. And I also have a streaming device that uses Bluetooth to stream a signal from a cell phone directly into both of my ears. And that makes it much easier to carry on a, a cell phone conversation uh, than was previously possible. In fact, I, I can hear better on a cell phone uh, than, than most people who don't have the, the help of uh, a hearing aid or a cochlear implant. Uh, from, a, from a work perspective, um, it's been very helpful. Uh, there's still, situ I'm still hearing impaired. And that's just something that um, you have to acknowledge and, and you, you still have to recognize that there are going to be situations that are, that are going to be difficult to deal with. But in terms of work, um, I find it much easier to uh, just function on a, on, a, on a routine basis around the office. It's much easier for me in a conference room where I don't have to worry uh, where I'm sitting. I have, in the past, had to position myself so that the key speaker would be on my left because that's where I was getting most of the most of the sound that I could understand. But the problem with that is if you're in a, in a conference room where uh, the speaker is, is sitting at the end of the table and they're projecting something on the screen, either you listen to the person who's speaking or you look at the screen, but you can't do both at once. And so um, that was always a challenging circumstance. As a result of cochlear implant, I don't have to do a little dance every time I, I need to really truly understand someone because I hear equally well out of both ears. Um, and uh, after 35 years, that's, that's quite, a, quite a remarkable change.